Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on a set of Corsa taking a look at the new HGK car pack with the HGK F22 and the new Supra. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all which you found in the description box below. Let's get to it. So, first impressions of the overall look of this F-22 Eurofighter. It looks amazing with the carbon Kevlar. Definitely a very awesome looking car. Can't wait to actually rip this thing. We do. It does have, you know, a V8 under the hood. So, something I'm very familiar with. And like I said, the texturing and everything in this car, the interior looks totally amazing. So, let's go full send. So, I do not have a sequential setup. So, we do have, kind of have to just... And go back into center, which is not very, uh, what you would say, the proper way to do it. But I do not have a sequential setup because I do have the Moses shifter hooked in. So, so loud. We are on the bass tune, so we're going to go full send here. See what we can do. Probably be a fourth gear course. Second gear start though. Ooh, kind of just laid out full throttle there. I worked our way out. So, first impressions on that first run, that was actually a, a halfway decent run, if I do say so myself. So, we are going to take a look at the replay. Now, like I said, it's kind of weird that I'm using it in the sequen the Moza as a sequential in a sense, but it doesn't spring back to center, so we can't just grab it. I kind of have to, like, pull it back into, pl into center place, which isn't bad if you're used to it. And the first time I'm trying it this way, and it seems to be working, so we'll get another run here in the Eurofighter. The part of initiation there. I think we may have got a little bit shallow there. I think we almost filled that whole zone. Kind of clutched in there. Ooh. So overall, not too bad of two runs. Let's go take a look at those replays and see actually where we were at. The car does look incredibly beautiful. Initiated about the two. Second hash. Just tipping our toe in that. And just tipping in there too, and there. We did kind of get all the way out there. The later part of the course was actually quite nice. I do like how this uh, car is driving and how it feels. It's definitely a very solid car, and I love the F22 Eurofighter. So the second run, I think we're a little bit better. So let's take a look at this run. Much harder of a flick. Ooh, that was that was all right. We were much deeper in that zone. Kind of missed that zone. We got all the way in that zone, and all the way up in the wall on that. So for the first two runs of this car, very thoroughly impressed with it, and I actually like how this car is running. So let's go back. Let's go here. Let's F5 take a look at this car a little bit more in depth from the outside. I do like the gold body, goldish brown carbon Kevlar, the clear Eurofighter wing. Got some the radiator fans back there all working. This model is incredibly cool. Definitely love the big chunky Nitto tires that you know don't look like they've been used at all. And overall, just thoroughly impressed with how this thing looks. Looks super cool. So we're gonna switch up to the E90, or <laughs> we're gonna switch up to the Supra and see if we can't tackle a 2J. 
So the next car in the pack is of course the A90 Supra, the GR Supra with the HTK body kit and everything on it. This car looks very, very nice. Now I do think I see a little bit of see-through in some of the inside of the modeling and stuff like that, but definitely a very solid looking car. Not running on Nittos. This one's running on uh, Valino tires, Valinos. So we're going to go full set in this and see if this car has a sequential as well. We're going to make sure we adjust our brake power down and then our brake bias at 80. Okay. Turbo cars are definitely one thing I'm not super familiar with. Staying in boost, as you can see, trying to do even donuts. Car so loud. So we're gonna see how this goes. I'm not sure what gear we're gonna have to be in or anything like that. So full send. Five foot gear. Fifth gear. Fifth of fourth. That was really shallow. Yep. That was definitely a very shallow run, so we're gonna forgo that run. I think it's going to be a fifth gear on this track, and I don't think we need to use clutch when we're shifting, so that's a good thing. Second gear start. This gear is not the right gear. Nope. So this car is a lot harder to drive personally for me than the Eurofighter was. Like I said, staying in boost and stuff like that is a different style of driving that I have haven't done much in a competition aspect. Unless my car has been V8s and just power on command. So we was going to stall off the line. Definitely, uh, this car takes a much, much more finesse to drive than I feel that Eurofighter. Well, the F22 Eurofighter. This is a car that I don't think I can actually get a handle on. Like I said, I'm used to V8s, power on command, and being able to just a lot of left foot braking. That's why all my competition cars have been V8s. Let's see if we can get this in this run. Not the line I want to take. Yep. I strung out two J's are not my cup of tea. When it comes to driving, we can give it one more attempt because I'm not sure what boost level we're at. We'll give it one more foul go. We'll take a look at the replay of it. inside of this car looks incredible. Yeah, I don't think we are full boost. Cannot get a handle on this car. Woo. So we'll take a look at one of the replays, but yeah, I can't get a handle on this Eurofighter, uh, the A90 version in this HGK pack. So definitely not my style of Competition and driving with the turbo lag and everything like that. It's definitely a uh, a very finesse, very finesse car that I'm not too comfortable with. So I think that's gonna do it here for this look at this HGK car pack. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section down below if you guys are using it. I think I need to learn how to drive uh, highly boosted cars more because I love my V8s and I love power on command. 
So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all the description box below. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.